So, the default third-person character blueprint is cool, but you need to strafe. Not a problem. Now let's say that you have a target variable, and you have a way to feed that target something from the scene. Now if you don't know how to do that, just check out the pinned comment, and then come back. Once you've got that done, you'll need to right-click and create a new blend space. Pick the skeleton for your character, name it, then on the left, open the horizontal and vertical axis. And change horizontal name to direction, set minimum value to negative 180, and max value to 180. Set grid divisions to 8, and change vertical name to speed. And set the maximum value to whatever maximum speed you want the character to travel. The default is 500, so that's just what I'm going to use. Then set snap to grid for both to true. And now we just have to drag our animations into the blend space in the following order. Start with idle, and it should be at the bottom center. Now I have both walking and running cycles, so I'm going to drag both of them in. So we're going to drag in walking forward, running forward, then walking forward right, and running forward right, then running right, walking right, then running back right, walking back right then running back, walking back. And now we'll do the same for the other side. So walking forward left, running forward left, then walking left, running left, and then walking back left, running back left, then running back and walking back. So backwards is in both the beginning of the left and right sides. And now if you hold control, you'll be able to preview how the animations transition between each other. Okay, now we gotta go to the animation blueprint. So we'll just look for the ABP Manny. Then on the right side, we're gonna right click calculate direction, and we'll grab the velocity from over here. Then right click, get character, which is actually the same variable as this thing over here, drag out and get actor rotation, then plug it in like so. Then from the return value, we're gonna promote to variable and connect it from the set node here. Finally, we need to go into the animation graph, locomotion, walk, run, detach the old blend space and replace it with the strafe one that we just made. Then plug it in like so, you're done. Now, whenever your character is targeting an object, it will automatically kick into strafe mode. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.